Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to apply these to whatever surface it is that you wanna use. So the first step before you apply anything is to rub. Using a license or a credit card is to rub the, the white part of the sticker first, just to make sure that the, that the white part is fully adhered to the vinyl. You wanna make sure that the area that you're gonna apply it to, the best thing to do is to use rubbing alcohol, but even just washing it real good and rinsing it so that it's clean. So then once you do that, once you've rubbed this out, then you go to the back here and very gently you pull this up. Now the key thing here is, is to make sure that as you're pulling this off, that you don't lose any of the sticker on the backing. Now once you have the backing off of there, what I like to do is I like to kind of curve it and then you can place it in the position that you want. Starting in the middle, don't just let that fall and kind of just run your finger across as you're laying it down and then smooth it. Then once you get that done, then you come back with the credit card or driver's license. I like driver's license because it's kind of usually got a little bit more of a rounded edge. Once you rub it down real good, get in and rub on the little pieces that are in here. See these little pieces that are kind of floating by themselves? Rub on those real good. There's probably going to be some air bubbles, but we'll address that here in just a second. So you want to rub that as good as you can. And then take the application tape and as you're pulling it, Try to, try to pull back flat. Try not to do this, like pull up. Pull back flat, and as you do, the masking tape, or the application tape, will come right off. You take that and throw that away. Same thing here, and as you're doing this, be careful to watch that the sticker isn't staying adhered to the application tape. Once you do this once or twice, it's pretty easy. Um, so now the sticker is on there. Once you do that, then you can come back and very gently, not don't apply too much pressure, you can kind of push until the air bubble is right up along the edge of the sticker and it'll go away. The other option to do is to take a, a straight pin and just poke in the middle of it and push with your finger and it'll push the air bubble out. Most of the air bubbles will come out on their own over time. Um, what you don't want to do is rub real hard because if you do, then you end up with, you end up causing uh, the potential for doing something like that where you end up with this little spot that isn't, uh, isn't fully adhered. So um, that's pretty much it. Hope that helps, guys. Thanks.